Ram electric pickup truck might arrive in 2024. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you, thank you. By 2030, every nameplate, including Jeep, Ram, Chrysler, Dodge, Maserati, and a plethora of other brands, under the Stellantis umbrella, the company created in January by merging FCA and PSA Group, will offer an electric vehicle. In the run-up to 2030, the company plans to build plug-in hybrids of most models as part of an accelerated global electrification plan. Battery factories coming. Stellantis will make battery cells at factories in Europe and the United States as part of a move to engineer and build electric powertrain components via joint ventures. A reversal of the old FCA ways of outsourcing most of the parts needed to build a vehicle, something that made the automaker extremely dependent on its supply chain, Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares provided an overview of some of the corporate strategies the company plans to pursue at the virtual first annual shareholders meeting of the newly created fourth largest automaker. Stellantis's leadership team is still being finalized, but work is underway to continue to execute FCA's and PSA's plans in the short term while coming up with a new long-term plan through 2030. The first conclusions will be delivered by fall, Tavares said. Electrification plays a major role in the long-term vision of the company, which has more than 100 nameplates offered by its 14 brands. Stellantis to triple EV sales in 2021. Stellantis will ensure it has the manufacturing and supply capacity needed to meet amped-up electrification targets. In 2021, the company expects to sell more than 400,000 electrified vehicles, tripling the number it sold in 2019. Currently, 14% of total Stellantis sales are electrified in Europe. That will grow to 38% by 2025 and 70% of total sales by the end of the decade, Tavares said. The US has been slower to embrace EVs in general and Stellantis is no exception. EVs account for only 4% of Stellantis's US sales today. Projections, however, call for EV sales to balloon to 31% in 2025. New platforms designed for pure EVs. Stellantis's more than 100 nameplates will move to 4 re. Engineered platforms that support battery electric vehicles, Small cars will be on STLA small, encompassing the A, B, and C segments, which ought to offer a driving range of more than 500 kilometers, 311 miles. STLA medium is for C and D sized vehicles. These models ought to sport a range of 700 kilometers, 435 miles. STLA large is for D and E segments. Expect a range of 800 kilometers, 497 miles. Finally, STLA frame is for body-on-frame large E and F SUVs, as well as pickups, look for a range of 500 km, 311 miles, from these vehicles. Tavares said work began a few months ago on the new platforms, STLA medium and large will reach production in 2023, followed by the STLA frame in 2024, STLA small, which is more focused toward the European market, is not due until 2026, in part because the next generation of the current ECMP platform is coming next year.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.